guys and welcome to today's video which is episode one of a new series I'm starting which is Fossil Friday. Um, so for this video I thought I would go through the huge sample boxes I've got just outside my room which if you've watched the what rocks I brought to uni video you would have seen that. If not I'll link it down below. Basically I have four huge like tubs of fossils I've brought back from um, a few locations which are all for my dissertation so I have to go through these boxes and I thought I might as well you know go through them with you guys because I'm sure some of you would like to see. So I've grabbed a sample bag out of one of the boxes um, so there's quite a bit in this one so if I don't think I should get through it all in one video I'll, I'll do part one and part two. Um, but this is full of ammonites which are called dactylioceros um, so they, they vary in size. I think the majority of the ones I found are like fairly little but they're just so cute. So um, I'm gonna get on and dig in. So, so I even dated this bag, how sad is that? I found these on the 3rd of November and this is the first time they're coming out of the bag since I like got back. That's terrible because I'm meant to be writing about these, you know, for my dissertation. Nightmare. Um, so I've got the first bundle here. Uh oh, you can hear loads of like sand in amongst it, so I'm definitely gonna have to hoover after this video, which is probably not a bad thing, because you know, I have a lot of hair, and uh, it definitely goes all over my carpet. I'm actually gonna put that out of my face. Okay, so the first one we've got is this little guy. Um, so it just looks like this. And to be honest, I think I found this one really interesting, because look how thick it is. So I don't know if you guys can see, you got the ribbing there and then the thick bit there. So I'll adjust my camera so you can properly see it. So this is what it looks like. I didn't know if you guys could see it when I was holding it just before. So you can see these little lines here and they're all the ribs of the ammonite. And then this is the edge of it here and you can see how thick it is. It's definitely a big boy, or actually a girl. I'm pretty sure the female ammonites were the bigger ones. Um, but I'll have to look into that if you guys are curious. Um, so I'm gonna try and clean, clean this one up a bit, but I think I took this one mainly because of how thick it was and I wanted to compare it to other ones um, because there's plenty of other ones I found which don't need much cleaning up, but uh, yeah, there it is. So that's the first thing I found. And then moving on in the bag, I'm gonna show you some of the ones that are more like naturally already all cleaned up um, just because I don't know, they're nicer to look at when they're all finished. But um, I haven't cleaned any of these up, this is just how I found them. So here we have this one here, which again, it's a dactylioceros, but it's a lot, you know, cleaner. You can actually see all the swirls, where, or the whirls, I think they're called. Whereas on the other one, it was all a bit of a blur, you could just see the edge of it. So I really like this one, I think it looks really nice how it's got the bit of rock there, so it can sort of stand up by itself. Um, so yeah, I need to be taking photos of all of these to put in my dissertation, but I thought I would show them one by one to you guys, so that's that one. And then... Do, do, do. So this one's a bit bigger, but again, you can see very clearly that it's an ammonite. Um, there's not much I'll be able to do to this one. I might just be able to brush it a little bit, like with an old toothbrush. Um, just to get some of the excess mud off of it and it might just make it look a bit nicer and maybe clean out the middle a little bit but that's that little guy and then dun, 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 my bag of treasures so I found quite a lot of these little ones they're gonna focus not that close wait there um, so they're just really little perfect ammonites um, and I just really love how you can see all the little swirls, they're just so cute. And then, I should probably do this blindfolded so I actually pick out just whatever's in the bag. This one, another little one, but very cute as well. They literally, these ones won't need much cleaning up at all. I'm just gonna brush them with a toothbrush to get rid of like, I can probably flake it off in my nail. Like get out some of the mud from the grooves just so, just so it starts looking perfect because they're all perfect in their own imperfect way which is just like humans so that was a really gay thing to say wasn't it um then we've got a bigger one here but it's not as defined so but it looks like that and it's very clearly it's like a whole little ammonite which is quite nice but it'd be nice to find like the most like a really perfect one in this size but it just looks like that and these are all dactylioceruses if you were interested 
Oh, and then <laughs> the tiniest, tiniest baby one. Look how little he is. So you can literally, the size does vary with these. You can get really little ones and fairly big ones. Like I think the biggest I've personally found is about this big. Um, but I don't know, they might go bigger. Who knows? And then what do I have in here? It's a wrapped up one. Oh yeah, so this is a this is a big one here. So you can see the ribs all there, and then there's like a little one in here, which you can see. So this one I'm gonna clean up. I'm not expecting anything amazing out of it, and there's another little one there. But um I was just interested in the size of this one. Because look at it. Looks so cool. Put that over there. And then we've got another wrapped up one. I feel like I wrap up the better ones or the ones that need it. I might be mistaken though. Yeah, so we've got like a fairly big one there, which just needs some cleaning up to get rid of like the extra bits. But in, in this little chunk here, can you see there's a, the little ribs of a smaller one there? It just looks like that. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we've got another one. Oops, this one. Oh yeah, I remember this one. So this one's like quite a cool piece, I think. So it's just a really chunky, quite sizable dactylosaurus. And I just, I love it when they're in there, like when they have a bit of rock coming off them. It's just my personal preference, I think. I don't know, it just looks really cool. Um, so it's not fully complete, but I just think it looks really nice. And you can actually see, you can see the suture lines on it. I don't know if it will pick up on my camera, but they're the little like squiggles. They sort of look like... I would say leaves in a way, like you got the blip blip blip, which is just underneath the ribbing sort of thing. Um, but I really like the ribs on this one, I think it just looks so, so awesome. And then the next one from the bag that I'm going to show you is this little one here. Um, so the reason I liked this one is because it's been eroded and it's actually been like eroded through it. So you can actually, can you see the little hole there? Yeah. I just think it's just so cute again because that's probably how a lot of the little ones are formed they might be eroded out of larger ones um, so it just looks like that and just thought it was really nice so I picked it up and then this one's also really cool so I've gone through the bag just quickly now um, so you got because there's loads and loads of like the same thing um, that I'm just looking for little variations in them but um, I put those to one side and then I've just picked out the unusual ones um, so this one here is one of the really thick ones but then it's it's really little which I think is just so cool. So there's not much, it's such a tiny little ammonite, but it's so fat. Love it. I just love the variation in them. And then this final one just looks like this. So you can just see the ammonite there, but then it also had a bigger whirl. You can see it's just been eroded there. So it just looks like that. So that's today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. You can see the little accumulation of stuff that I need, now need to clean up and take photos of. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know if there's any in particular videos you guys want to see and I'll get them filmed. Um, but apart from that, stay tuned. I'm going to try and get these um, episodes out every Friday and um, yeah, hopefully get through all the stuff I found so I'm then allowed to go hunting, you know, for my own personal like interest rather than just for my dissertation because currently I have no space to do that so I need to sort through what I've got but um no thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys soon